You got this, MP. today's contest. Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. Hi, everybody. This is Brian Anderson. And with me tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our reporter, Allie LaForce. All right, let's check out San Antonio's starting lineup. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Jones and Vassell are the one and the two. And it's Jordan in at the small forward position. And for Detroit, Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. Wiseman is out there with Marvin Bagley. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. Well, Smitty, these teams are both filled with talented young players. What do you think it'll take for them to reach their full potential? The answer, B.A., patience. It can take a few years to get your footing in this league. These young players just need time to develop individually and as a team. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. Jones with the ball. Now here's Jordan on the take and slam dunk by Jordan. And you know MP's been doing what he can to increase his exposure grant. He signed on with Ruffles to be a spokesman for their brand. Yeah, just another sign of how huge of an ambassador, a player, a spokesman MP has become. Very impressive. Here's Cunningham. The Spurs making their last shot. Here's Wiseman. And out of bounds. San Antonio will have it. And as we start up the new year, here's a glimpse at the new power rankings. Taking a look at Golden State. They've come down in the rankings a little, landing in the fifth spot for now. Well, I think for San Antonio, they've used the doubters to fuel their strong showing this season. Game after game, each guy seems to play with a big chip on his shoulder. Here's Jordan, and slam dunk by Jordan. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Well, Greg, given the proud history of the Pistons, the teens were an especially rough decade for them. Yeah, I mean, nothing much went right for them. But I'll say this for Detroit fans, they never give up on their team. It's as faithful a fan base as you'll find. Five on the clock. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Dialed in from deep. Jaden wants to keep improving this part of his game. And it's Jones with the ball for San Antonio. The three ball. Good! Another from three. 
I mean, his flame throwing continues. He's having a season for the ages. And he's approaching the fourth most three point makes in a season. And that mark of 337 set by Steph Curry in 2021. Knocks it down from distance. And both teams running long range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Jones against Cunningham. Pass to Wiseman. And here's Ivy. Boom! He jams it straight down. Putting some spice on that one. Jane Ivy really made that one hurt. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Jordan. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. He throws good. Jordan. Here's Cunningham. His scoring ability is impressive. Averaging 20 a game. To the inside. Wiseman. And it's Wiseman with the jam. Wow, that's a crisp pass by Cunningham. He has a good sense for finding those openings. For Kate Cunningham, his sophomore season proved to be very challenging. Yes, it was, B.A., going down with a season-ending injury just as he was reaching a new level. But young guys, they bounce back. Now here's Cunningham. 149 left to play in the first. And here's Ivy from the arc. Vassell with the rebound. San Antonio leading. Now Jordan. In the game against Cleveland, very impressive. And here's Harris on the wing. Ivy over Vassell. Ivy shot is off. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. From deep, Jordan. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Here's Harris. The rebound by the Spurs. And this is their first time matched up with the Pistons this year. Not exactly the biggest game on the season schedule, but both teams are capable of flashing serious potential. You know what? Every win counts in this league, and both of these teams want every victory they can get. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Bagley. To the paint. Looking to end the run. And Harris throws it down. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Jordan against Harris. Here's Limanyama. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. The Pistons have gone five of nine from the floor. Cunningham with the ball. No points yet. Down low. Unable to get that one. Good D by Wimbanyama. And Wimbanyama has the ball here for San Antonio. They've got a nine-point lead. Vassell finds Jordan. Launches it. And Ivy pulls it down. It'll count. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Spurs out in front, up nine. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. 
We'll see if that changes here in the second. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. You have to like the fact that they're not settling at all. I mean, they've really made a point to get the ball down inside and challenge that interior defense. Isaiah Stewart out there with Thompson. And then there's Marcus Smart. Then there's Cunningham. And it's Duran in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Detroit starting the second. Now here's Wimbanyama. From deep, Jordan. Count it. Now eight for 13 with that basket. Continuing to stoke the fire. His shot making has been absolutely superb. Pass to Cunningham. Now Smart. Oh my goodness, smart with a tough finish. Beautiful pass at his size. Cunningham sees the whole floor. You know, injuries cost Zach Collins a couple of seasons of his young career. But Smitty, the talent is still intriguing. B.A., the 10th pick back in 2017, has a combination of size, shot blocking, and shooting. You don't get that every day. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Jordan. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Jordan's got 24 points. That's like a horse shot. A very brave shot to go with, but he got it to go. Stewart finds Cunningham from about 16. Good on the shot. If you're the defense, you have to know where Cunningham is at all times. Thanks, guys. Well, prime time in their last time out against the Cavaliers just played phenomenal. He had 65 points, and he made a significant contribution from beyond the arc, as usual. He was such a difficult matchup in that one. We'll see how he follows it up tonight. Brian? Great report there, Allie. It was obvious he could do anything he wanted. A fantastic win. Well, I'll tell you, he was enjoying himself out there, kind of like us here in the broadcast booth. And whoever was matched up against him wasn't enjoying themselves. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. He knew he had to take it up strong. David dunking on Goliath. Smart passes to Cunningham. Offline with a three. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Jordan misses. The Pistons have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Pass to Smart. Three-pointer, Stewart. Offensive board. Great positioning on the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. And the Pistons will go for a different look here. Wiseman, he's checked in for Duran. Bagley comes in for Stewart. Harris is checked in for Thompson. And Ivy subbed in for Cunningham. Well, Grant, for them, this is game two of a back-to-back. -back. Does that schedule wear you out as a player? You know, at times, the schedule can be tough. But sometimes it also works in your favor because you can maintain a good rhythm game to game. And so it's Detroit with it, following the bucket by the Spurs. Back to Smart. Pass to Bagley. The cell against Ivy. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Here's Wiseman. Rebound San Antonio. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. You have to credit the And again for three. Yeah, he's been hitting threes at a very high level. We haven't seen many better from deep. That last triple ties him for fourth most made in a season. Yeah, that's his 337th tray of the year, tying him with Steph's 2021 season. Only Curry and Harden have hit more in a single season. Terrific recognition there from Jaden Ivey, spotting the open man and wasting no time getting him the ball. And he got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. No good on the free throw. And the Pistons making a change here. Cunningham's checked in. And San Antonio also making a switch. Wimbanyama's checked in for Collins. And the second free throw is good. There's 57 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Pass to Bagley. Oh, 
Got a piece of it, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Vassell. And here's a look at some numbers for him. And it's incredible how much his three-point shooting has improved this month. His percentage from deep is coming way up, and that's going to help his team. You can never have enough shooters out there on the floor. Now here's Cunningham. 11 points for him last game against Sacramento. And another key for them was his rebounding. Just a great effort. They might want to get away from the three-point shot. It's really been dragging them down. Jordan against Harris. Jordan, the pass to Sohan. Beyond the arc. Connects again from distance. And this is amazing. I mean, that moves them into fourth place alone on the list of most three-pointers in a season. It's been fantastic to witness. A year like this does not happen very often. Oh, the confidence he has. The confidence his coaches have in him. He's in the company of great shooters like Curry and Harden. And so the San Antonio Spurs out in front by 19 going into the break. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. With All-Star Weekend. I appreciate how much effort these guys have put into this. Every year is harder to come up with something new. And then you have the execution. It can take months to... And as for our matchup, what a tremendous first half it was for the Spurs. Their long-range game is dialed in, and that's despite the defense's best efforts. It's pretty impressive, even by today's standards. Yeah, hard to beat a team that's hitting a high volume of threes, that's for sure. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And Detroit has possession, trailing by 19. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. It's game three of a trifecta at home. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting the second half with. Jones and Vassell are the one and the two. Inside at the four and five, it's Sohan and Wimbanyama. Yet another bucket. Once again, he's reached the 40-point mark as there has been no slowing him down this year. And with all these 40-point performances, he is close to matching the mark for third most 40-point games in a single year. And, and that would tie him with his airness, Michael Jordan. He did it an incredible 37 times back in 1987. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, asked to compare his game, Victor Wembanyama said, I would hate that my game resembles any one player because that wouldn't be ambitious enough. My whole life, I've always tried to be one of one. I don't know where it comes from. I think I was born with it. I've always tried to be original. My goal is to be like something you have never seen. B.A.? Wow. Mission accomplished there, Ali. Thank you. Back to Wiseman. Over Jordan. Vassell with the rebound. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. With Vassell out there, there's a lot he brings to the table, Steve. Yeah, he can make a difference at both ends of the floor, and I know they like that about him. If he has an off night shooting the ball, he still adds value with his defense. Harris misses. Shaky start to the half, going one for four, still trying to find that groove. Jordan goes in, and the layup is good off the glass. Jordan's got 42 in the game. Oh, my. You have to respect the aggressiveness he plays with. Ooh. Detroit up. calls timeout. And a list of rookies that are red hot. The leaders in scoring over the previous 10 games. Okay. 
Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Wiseman. Here's Cunningham. Buried from 15 feet out. Cunningham's gotten his second bucket on the night. When the jumpers are falling for Kay Cunningham, it just adds another dimension to this team's offense. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. It'll go on Joe Harris. And when it comes to defining rivalry, Smitty, you think both sides have to win big or is mutual dislike enough? You know, I think B.A. winning really brings the rivalry out. And I think it has to go back to back uh, years. Also, a little bad blood doesn't hurt a rivalry when both teams just don't like each other. Clock at six. And it's Cunningham missing. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And that one's good. Jordan's got nine points in the quarter. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. To the inside. Cunningham. Howard down after the assist led him to the lane. Powerful jam by Cunningham, letting everyone know he can get physical. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. And so Cunningham will bring it up for Detroit. Wiseman in the high post. And here's Ivy from the arc. Hits the trifecta. Ivy's got eight points. Like a hot potato, Jaden barely had possession. 144 left in the third quarter. Jordan inside. Harris on him. Jordan misses. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. Ivy passes to Harris. And the three off target. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Pass to Sohan. Wiseman with a steal. It's two on one. Here's Bagley. Oh, the big finish by Bagley. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach... Gordon's checked in for San Antonio. Go get him, MP. You're tough. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. And good! There's another! A historic 50-point night. What a streak he's on. With this performance, he now has the longest streak of 50-point games in NBA history. Cunningham and Ivy are the backcourt pair. Joe Harris out there with Marvin Bagley. And it's Wiseman in at the five. That's the group for Detroit right now. Lethal running the two-man game. Cunningham is a problem. Inside. Here's Jordan. Oh, connects again. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. I don't think the D has an answer for him right now. He is just getting any shot he wants. Pass to Cunningham. Left side Bagley. There's the three. That one no good. The Spurs have gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. Jordan misses. For Detroit, they've gone five of 11 so far in the fourth. Here's Ivy. Rebound San Antonio. Over to the left wing. They double him with Harris. Here's Jordan. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Detroit has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Woo, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Pass to Harris. To the middle. Wiseman the bucket on the assist from Bagley. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Spurs. 
And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And this will go down as win number 25 for them this year. And they meet just twice. So taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for prime time. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. They double him with Harris. Jordan finds Johnson. Back to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Cunningham with the ball. And Johnson picks him up defensively. Here's Bagley. And he drops it in from the low post. They're on a little run right now. But I'm wondering, where was this energy earlier? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now? Or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? From deep, Jordan drills it from deep. Jordan's got 57 points. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. And so it's San Antonio easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout.
nice team win. Let's keep it going. You've been on an unbelievable tear lately, breaking the record for consecutive 50-point games. Do you worry that you're setting the bar too high? Is anything less than this going to be a disappointment? I mean, I'm all about setting the bar high and pushing myself to new heights. There's always a risk of falling short, but that's the nature of the game. Um, the key is to focus on the process, not the outcome. I'm going to continue to work hard, stay focused, and give 100% effort every time I step on the court. Uh, that's what's most important to me, and that's what determines my success. If you don't set the bar high, you aren't challenging yourself, and you won't get better. Time for a shoot around, MP. Let's go. If it isn't Mr. Rookie of the Month. Up next, the Spurs taking on the Hornets. For the Spurs, a stellar year has put them at the top of the Western Conference. First place. Hi, everyone. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And, of course, David Aldridge is joining us tonight from the sideline. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. And as we're into the middle of the season now, G.A., how much of a rhythm are teams in for their day-to-day -day activities? I mean, most teams should have found their flow by now. And they know their rotations and guys are in the groove of the season. I mean, that's not the case for every team, unfortunately. This is the first time they faced off the rookie MP. It's is very excited to say the least for this one and perhaps a bit of a feeling out process but i expect it won't take long for them to get it going and put on a show so let's take a look at the charlotte starting lineup miller is out there with miles bridges then it's williams then it's ball and it's sumner in at the shooting guard position traps in the tray assert himself at the arc now the rookie miller with the answer about one minute into the first quarter. Pass to Vassell. And here is Jordan. Takes the three. That shot is no good. And he's one for three from the floor. And one thing with LaMelo, Clark, he has so much length at that point guard position. Yeah, you know, Kevin, he's listed at 6'7", but he's got a much bigger wingspan than that, which allows him to effectively throw passes over the top and I think it helps in him being disruptive as a defender, too. Left side, Miller. 
Vassell grabs the board. For San Antonio, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And three from Jordan. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Hits it from three-point range. Jordan's got six. And just beating the open man. Nice recognition there from Vassell. Ball, the pass to Miller. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. San Antonio's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. Jordan against Miller. Jordan can't get it to go. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take advantage. Miller, no luck. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. There's the triple, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. The Hornets have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And there's the pass to Bridges. The kick out to Ball. Pass to Sumner. Fires the three. Ball no good. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Wasted no time on that one. He's got 12. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by Sohan. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Collins checked in for the Spurs. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Hayward's checked in. Pass to Williams. To the paint. To end the run. Collins with some nice D. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to Sacramento. I mean, they went into that one with the thought that they may have a chance. Uh, no. It wasn't pretty. That's definitely the case. I mean, I know they'd like to scrub that game from their memories and actually erase it from the hard drive. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Johnson's checked in for Trey Jones. And then for Charlotte, P.J. Washington. He's checked in for Miller. And it's Neil Aquina in for Edmund Sumner. We've got 123 left here in the opening quarter. Neil Aquina kicks to Williams. Williams, a screen on Jordan. Back to Williams. Stolen by Collins. And here we go. Fast break. Jordan's got it. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. For three, Hayward. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Good on the triple. The defense a step slow. And you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. To the inside. A rebound by the Spurs. Getting their first look of the season at this Hornets team. Yeah, and a pair of losses for them in their meetings last season. And the cold hard truth about it, they just had a hard time beating anybody last year. You know, those were games where you thought they could get a win. But now they need to forget about it. It's in the past. Let it go. And they've got to focus on the present and try to make a better run of it this time. Williams sets a screen for Hayward from the arc. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. And if they keep training the threes like they've been so far, their lead is safe. Will return shortly. <laughs> 
And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And, you know, the Spurs have been rolling right along, haven't they? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. Setting the floor for the Hornets. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. The guard and off guard are Ball and Martin. And it's Richards in at the center position. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Hey, Kevin. Well, prime time in the last game against the Pistons was outstanding. He finished with 57 points and was reliable as ever from distance. The level he played at in that one was incredible. Now he always wants to play his best against their rivals and, to say the least, mission accomplished. Guys? Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, you know, all in the... He's checked in for the Spurs. Jones comes in for Devontae Graham. Good time. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Jones, no luck. Hornets trail by 21. Since returning to Charlotte in 2004, Clark, wins have been hard to come by for the Hornets. Yeah, they haven't been able to make it out of the first round. But things finally seem to be trending up. They've got a lot of young talent on their roster, and if that talent grows, better days are ahead. Here's Jordan. Miller grabs the miss. And so Miller will bring it up for the Hornets. Sumner passes to Richards. Dishes at the ball. Banked in off the glass. Really important for Ball to maintain his poise around the basket. That's what allows him to take a bump like that and still convert. And the dunk by Jordan. Oh, fellas, that was vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Now Richards. Still yet to score. Ball no good. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Branham the pass to Jordan. Offline with... is three. Hornets trail by 21. Pass the ball. Come to me, come to me. Miller outside. There's the screen. Shoots over Johnson. Branham pulls it in. For San Antonio, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three is six. And again for three. And all season long, he's been nothing but money from beyond the arc. You're right. He's been nothing short of amazing for him as he edges closer to third most three-pointers in a single season. And that mark of 354 triples set by Steph Curry in 2019, he's got a lot of seasons on this list. No surprise there. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but Greg, the versatility at, at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. Charlotte calls timeout.
Both teams will make substitutions. And make we can look quickly at a group of rookies pass. having a very good run, the top scoring first-year players in the NBA for the past 10 games. You look at Jordan leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And, of course, Brandon Miller. Same can be said about him. It's exciting to see two young fellas start to figure it out and determine how to assert themselves offensively. Well, the name of the game is to put points on the board, right? And that's what these two rookies do well. Bridges a screen on Vassell. Hayward passes to Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. You know, that's a set that's comfortable for Bridges. I mean, he's got a good feel for the pick and roll, either as a creator or as a finisher. And the dunk by Jordan. Like what MP's doing in this matchup, getting right to it. No feeling out process for him. Here's Bridges, and he lays it straight in. Bridges has got four points now in the quarter. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. And, and trailing in this game, now is not the time to start playing conservatively. I mean, if you've got an open look from deep, let it go. I mean, you've got to play freely and with confidence. Here's Sumner, defended by Jones. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. A circus dunk for you right there, guys. 29 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Williams a screen on Vassell. From 11 feet away. Almost, but it rolls out. His first shot coming late. Tries again. A nice shot by Sohan. Sohan's got his first points of the night. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. And no good on the last second attempt this time. A great defense. Vassell is so versatile, and he's a player who can guard all five positions. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You could just look at the rebounding differential. These guys are giving everything that they have. They are taking no possession. Let's turn our attention to the dunk contest and see who's competing for a spot this year. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Really an incredible game from primetime. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. And it's Jordan in at the three, the small forward. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. Hey, Greg, what do you like about Brandon Miller's game? You know, Kevin, for me, his combination of length and skill is something every team is looking for. The, the key in his development will be adding strength and enhancing his ability to attack off the bounce. The Hornets shooting the ball poorly, just 28%. The pass to Bridges. Pocket six. Charlotte needs to get a shot off. There's Ball with the three. Nailed from three-point land. Ball's got five. Ball's never seen a shot he didn't like now. That includes the corner. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Now, LaMelo Ball is young, but he certainly has words of wisdom already. He says, everybody always asks me, what's my slogan? Two words, be you. 
You just got to be you from the jump, and whatever's supposed to happen is going to happen. But if you ain't you, you're already lost. That's a fact. Kevin? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. More than comfortable in his own skin. Good, he hits again. And it's hard to believe how many times he's lit up the scoreboard like this over the years. He's coming very close to tying the mark for fourth most 50-point games in NBA history. And next up on this list, Harden. And just like Harden, he's a determined scorer. When he gets on a roll, the defense is helpless. Now, let's go courtside for a report on MP's history-making season. Thank you, Kevin. Well, MP's had a season to remember from deep, but now he has a chance to etch it more concretely in the history books as he's within reach of the single season record for three-pointers made. But regardless, Kevin, MP always worth the price of admission. Yeah, for certain. I like that. So he gets them both. San Antonio with the ball. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game. And that game is the second of two straight at home. They've hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Inside, here's Miller. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist in this one. Miller against Jordan. Outside, Jones. Back to Jordan. Jordan is doubled. Pass to Sohan. Here's Vassell. No good from outside. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Miller surveying the floor. Over Jordan. Miller, no luck. The Spurs have gone 4 or 6 from the field since the start of the third. Jordan's shot is off. For Charlotte, they've gone 3 or 6 in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Three pointer. Miller with another miss. San Antonio's gone 2 of 5 with a three point shot since coming out of the break. And yep, another basket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Outside, ball. Back to Miller. Makes it off the glass. Miller's got 12 in the game. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Jordan on the wing, covered by Miller. Jordan with the bucket. What an amazing trick shot to confound the defender. Oh, man, that's awesome. He's taking him to school right there. Ball against Jones. Bridges sets the screen for Ball. Over Jones. Ball no good. You know, he's been off tonight, off his game. At this point, he might want to focus on creating for others. And another one. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Bridges misses and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Ball with it. There's the drive. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Spurs out in front delivering the blowout and we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway
And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass first guy playing out of the two guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And on the court for Charlotte as we start the fourth. The guard and off guard are Ball and Martin. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. And it's Richards in at the five. Jordan is doubled. Johnson outside. Down low. Branham. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got three assists tonight. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. To the wing right side. Ball with a wide open look. Off target from three-point range. The Spurs shooting 70% from the floor. Truly incredible work from this offense tonight. Graham's court awareness in action right there. Easily spots a wide open man. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Hayward can hit. Hayward's gone two of seven from the floor here. No good from Jordan. Charlotte's gotten off to an 0 for two start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Hayward can hit. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. And then Johnson with the dunk. Just another facet to Keldon's game. I feel like his ceiling just keeps rising. The Hornets have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now, and it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Williams, he's checked in for Nick Richards. Bridges comes in for Washington. Miller's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Martin. And it's good, two points. 66 points for Jordan. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. Ball kicks to Bridges. And with this new CBA, great for the first time, team and league licensing revenue, about $160 million a year. is to be shared with the players. And I think that's probably jersey patches and, and stuff like that. It makes sense that the players should get a share of that. And the Spurs with possession. They've got an 8-0 run. Come on, shoot, shoot. <laughs> and a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Spurs. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. The shooting's been great, but also, how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. And it's ball that time on the assist by Miller. And not just the score. Miller can dish it as well, showing great vision on that play. Miller against Jordan. Over Miller. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Hornets have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Here's Ball. Up and in on the layup. Ball's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, that was not as easy as he made it. Look, that was a tough shot. Great take by Ball and make. And here's Jordan outside. Good! Another from three. And his incredible shooting season continues. Oh, up the history charts. He climbs GA, now tied for third all-time for threes in a season. Absolutely amazing. And he's matched Curry's mark of 354 from 2019. That season, James Harden led the league with 378. Again, ball missing. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Had their fingerprints all over this match. And another one falls. And what a night. Arguably the best in franchise history. Tying the franchise mark for most points in a game. 
The next basket breaks it. Ball against Graham. Ball feeling it out a bit. Six to shoot. San Antonio with the rebound. Here's Jordan. Good, that's another bucket. And he's now tied for the fourth most points in an NBA game. All time. He is knocking down everything. It's truly one of the greatest games in league history. He cannot miss. 73. <laughs> what a number. Tying Wilt and David Thompson. Only Wilt and Kobe have more in a single game. Passes it to Jordan. Another bucket. Wow. Unreal. He's got the fourth most points ever in an NBA game. This man is on another planet. I mean, what can you say? One of the all-time individual games in NBA history. And, and honestly, guys, I don't know how you stop him. I mean, he's into the mid-70s scoring-wise. Wilt's 78, Kobe's 81, and Wilt's 100 are the only higher scoring games ever. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. My goat right there, he's amazing. MP, baby, let's go. Those 70 points got you fired yeah, up, huh? Yeah, baby, I like having fun. And I don't? Yeah. Hey, I'm just relaxed. Oh, uh, that's one way of putting it. Well, how would you put it? Well, you my boy since middle school, right? Uh -huh. But you kind of a Debbie Downer. I mean, I think that's why we got this great odd couple thing going on. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> What are MP's chances of uh, putting out 80? Oh, 8,000%. That is a little high for me, but it is within reach. See, for, for those of you who are new to the game, within reach is Sam speak for I'm totally in love with MP's game. <laughs> Honestly, Yeah. That's 
suit. Yeah. This arena? Yeah, in this arena, this suit is for this team.